Hello and welcome to Oxford City Football Club. I'm here at the last home game before Christmas where up to 200 fans are allowed back inside the newly renamed Velocity Stadium. Good afternoon and welcome to Solent Sports News at 1.30. I'm Wes Spearman. Breaking news just in from Ireland, midfielder Alan Brown has tested positive for COVID-19. He played all 90 minutes against England as Harry Maguire scored in his first game as captain in their 3-0 win last night. So Zach McEachern, the first goal scorer for Oxford in the fourth minute, uh, followed up by uh, James McShane for Dorking uh, in the 39th minute. If, uh, if McShane had scored first, then I would have won the golden goal. Only two quid and I would have got a cash prize for it. Sadly not to be for me. One all here at Court Place Farm. Midwicket and square leg in on the single. Ashish is bold, he's hit it straight, they might come back for two. Long on's going to come back. Welch oh, he's fumbled it! He's fumbled and Welch comes back for the second. And the Mars Cricketers win! Buckfield uh, carries on and surely Mills will be on uh, to set a, a very challenging total uh, for Tame to chase. As uh, Patey once again in right and that one's Fuller and that's driven out too long off. And that is 50 for Sam Buckfield. 50 off just 29 balls. An excellent knock to give uh, Whitney Mills the platform uh, that they can to accelerate later on in the innings. Oxford City 2. Haringey Borough too. Uh, Haringey trying to play the offside trap. It uh, was a dangerous scoreline. These days, even 3 0 is a dangerous scoreline in football. The keeper wouldn't have saved that. He turned well, looked up, oh. and just drilled it wide. In January 2021, two more staff were hired in the media department to increase the visibility of the hoops on social media, with the aim of filling every stand in the ground come the end of the year, and when COVID is more of a thing of the past. I'm Wes Spearman and this has been Beyond the Turnstiles with Oxford City Football Club.